This is my freight sleds. They're getting a little tired because they've hauled a lot of freight. I made some changes over them over the year. Well, I built these about five years ago. I got rid of the springs on them because it made the trailers lunge. Now I get a lot of people asking me about the swivel part. This is the situation what it looks like when I come back. I pivot, pull this pin out here, and this is the pedestal part. Put this back in here. And that's where we're holding it so when I come back. But the pivoting part, there's two pivots to it. I've got these pins across in the bottom here. And this is where it pivots like this. And then what I did is, we see this white, that's actually a Teflon um, cutting board. And I use that for it to pivot on. There's a bolt, there two plates on each side, and then it pivots on the Teflon so it moves smoothly. And when I'm hauling the freight on it, this sets flat. Then I put the second trailer behind it, however long the freight is, if I'm going to haul beams, logs, plywood. And then I use the cargo straps. They hook on the ends here. They go out around the freight. I loop them over twice and then I hook onto the other side. And then what that does is holds the freight solid. And then the freight becomes the axle, or not the axle, the frame to the back half. You can see they're getting a little rusty looking, but I've hauled a lot of freight with them. And then I put one strap around here, and this keeps this lined up with the, uh, the freight so that the, the, the rear sled tracks evenly. And then when the, the uh, trailers are empty, that, that trailer there will hook onto this panel hitch here. And then that'll bring the freight back. I mean, the, the trailer's back is kind of a set of doubles behind the snow machine. When I built this, I built it with a Bearcat Y track to be hauling it. So these skis are the exact same stance as that snow machine. Now I use my track rig for hauling this stuff too, so I could pull quite a bit of freight with that. But in general, it was actually a pretty simple design. And I've just gotten a lot of people that wanted to know how to build one of these. So the only real modifications I made is I took the springs off because they did make the thing surge when you hit the moguls. Anyway, hopefully that's going to be helpful to somebody.